What are the best top 10 foods you can eat? Think about it for a minute and come up with some ideas and see if your ideas match my list. Number 10 are eggs. And eggs are complete proteins. So if you're eating a piece of beef or a piece of chicken, um, you can actually get the same amount of protein if you're eating an egg. And eggs also have um, vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E, choline, B vitamins, phosphorus, really loaded with nutrients. Now, for all of you out there who've always heard that the egg whites are the only part that you should eat, I want to, you know, bust this myth because the egg yolks are actually the part of the egg that contains the vitamin A, the vitamin D, E, and the choline. So if you're getting rid of the egg yolks every time, you're actually losing a lot of nutrients. Now, I recommend the free-roaming, vegetarian-fed eggs, and the reason why I recommend them is because they are fed um, a richer diet, has higher nutrients, they're not under stress when they're actually laying the eggs, and so when the eggs are actually laid and then we are consuming the eggs, they actually have more nutrients. Number nine are fermented beverages. Now, I'm not referring to alcoholic beverages. I'm actually referring to a specific group of drinks. Um, an example is kefir. Now, that is a drink that is similar to a yogurt, but it's fermented, so it contains all of the live, healthy bacteria. Natural ginger ale is another one. And then also another good one is kombucha. And kombucha is, is a clear liquid, and it's flavored with... Um, sometimes fruit or herbs, and it's also fermented, so it contains all the bacteria in it. Uh, these fermented beverages have lactic acid, and uh, so they're similar to, you know, to what you would get in yogurt, and they have all the good probiotics, the healthy bacteria that you would need in your intestines, so it helps facilitate better digestion, um, it helps clear your colon out, um, ease constipation, and just really promotes overall wellness. Number eight, goat's milk, cheese, and yogurt. Now, the reason why goat's milk is actually going to be better than cow's milk is because it has le less lactose than cow's milk, so it's easily digestible, more so than cow's milk. Um, it also has higher amounts of medium-chain fatty acids, and then... Um, there was a really cool study that came out and it showed that when a baby ingests goat's milk, it actually completely digests and breaks down within 20 minutes. And then the same child was fed cow's milk and it took a full eight hours for that milk to completely break down. So there, you know, media is using this study to kind of show that um, when an infant has digestive disorders or some kind of, you know, stomach trouble or gas and bloating, um, a lot of times it can be related to actually drinking cow's milk and then when you switch them to goat's milk, actually a lot of their symptoms go away. Number seven is smart water. Now, I really like smart water because it is a really good quality source of water and then it's pumped full of electrolytes. And the reason why you want to drink electrolyte uh, waters is because, especially during the summer, you're sweating, if you're working out consistently, if you work outside, you're losing electrolytes through your sweat. And if you put them back in, then you actually are keeping your body in balance. Now, this is such a better alternative than Powerades or the, you know, s sports drinks out there because they're loaded with sugar, so you get this high of energy and then this low of energy. So this is the perfect alternative. Number six, almonds and walnuts. And I eat these every morning for breakfast with my yogurt. And these are really high in essential fatty acids. So they're going to protect against heart disease and high cholesterol. And then they're also a good source of protein. So if you are vegetarian or you're not able to digest meats very well, this is a perfect plant source for protein and those good fats. Number five, <clears throat> extra virgin coconut oil and extra virgin olive oil. The reason why you need to buy the extra virgin oils are because that's the first and second pressed oil and there's no chemical processes to extract the oil. So it's just, it's the best choice when you're buying an oil. 
Uh, coconut oil is really high in the medium chain fatty acids, so it really supports normal brain function, especially in infants and early childhood. The, um, both the oils, the olive oil and the coconut oil, are high in antioxidants, vitamin E, which are great for your skin, and then also uh, the coconut oil supports your metabolism and your thyroid function. So if you are trying to lose weight right now or maintain a good weight, uh, coconut oil added into your diet is, is definitely going to benefit you. Number four, Alaskan caught or wild salmon. Now the reason why I recommend the Alaskan or wild salmon is because farmed raised animals and farm raised fish actually show in studies from Baylor that they promote inflammation once you eat them. So um, definitely closest to nature or the closest to the natural form is the best. Uh, the salmon is really high in protein essential fatty acids, uh, vitamin E, and it also has a ton of vitamins and minerals. So it's great to have, you know, if you throw it on a salad, if you're going to have it with dinner. I mean, there's all types of ways you can eat the salmon, but it's just, it's definitely something you want to have in your diet, um, you know, maybe once or twice a week. You don't want to necessarily eat it every day because fish do have contaminants and contain some toxins, but Definitely something you should have in your refrigerator. Number three, leafy greens. Now, these include your spinach, your kale. Um, now, you want to lightly steam them, lightly cook them, or eat them raw. Kale is a little bit more bitter than spinach, so I use spinach when I'm making a salad and use that in you know, place of iceberg, which has like almost no nutrients. Um, but spinach and kale are loaded with vitamins A, vitamin C, E, K, folic acid, magnesium, potassium. I mean, they are just jam-packed full of nutrients. You should actually have two to three servings of leafy greens a day to really get the ultimate benefit of all the nutrients. Um, spinach and kale also help lower inflammation, which is going to reduce your risk for heart disease. And, um, and then, so just make sure you don't overcook the spinach and kale because then that is going to, you know, cause some of the nutrients to break apart. Number two is quinoa. Now, that is a grain from Peru, and it's real tiny. It's smaller than couscous, and it's a little darker in color than couscous. And um, it's a complete protein. So, like I mentioned before, eggs are a complete protein. Quinoa is a grain, and it has all the amino acids in it that your body needs. So this is a great item to have um, in your pantry, in your refrigerator. It's loaded with nutrients. Um, it's, you know, of course, going to be high in protein. It has essential fatty acids in it as well. Um, it's easy to cook. You can use it in place of rice, um, and then also you can make it, you know, for a breakfast item in place of oatmeal. So definitely something you should check out. Number one, my personal favorite, sprouted grain breads. Now, the reason why I love these so much is because they don't have any flour in them. They're very easy to digest, just like the quinoa. They're gluten-free. Um, and the great thing about them is they take these raw grains and they soak them in water and then they bake them. And they're, they're minimally baked. And so the nutrients that are in these grains are so, it's just they're so packed full of nutrients, much more than the counterparts, even like whole grain bread. Um, and you'll notice when you buy the sprouted grain bread, and one of my favorite brands is called Ezekiel Bread, and the um, brand is actually Good for Life. That's their that's the name of the product, and they have English muffins and sprouted grain um, pasta and bagels, and I mean they have a ton of products, and um, the reason why I like them so much is because you can eat a piece of bread and they're so filling and so hearty and they're so rich in fiber that they actually make you feel very full and it lasts a long time. So versus when I, you know, used to eat a piece of regular bread, wheat bread, or, or even when I was growing up in white bread, I always felt like I would get so hungry, you know, shortly after that. Well, it's because there's, it's so much lower in fiber and nutrients than these sprouted grain breads. So don't let that intimidate you. have never heard of these breads. Go to your Whole Foods or Central Market or your health food store and just try it out. And I think you'll be surprised how much you like them. 
if you eat better, you will feel better. And then I also want to um, say that I appreciate everyone's emails and everyone's feedback. Unfortunately, I don't have enough time to in-depthly answer everyone individually, but the more people um, have questions and are interested in a certain subject, we'll make the video. See you next time.